A neighborhood is a wonderful thing. All types of people, cultures and backgrounds, long-time friends, blending together to form a community. But for all of its strengths, a neighborhood can still be a delicate balance. When a new neighbor arrives, people are naturally cautious. Even when he moves into a lovely historic home, everyone wonders how he might fit in. After all, a person can come from a distinguished career in academia and still have their strange habits, dressing in curious ways, all sorts of odd behaviors. So when Andrew Sorensen moved to the university three years ago, we weren't quite sure what to expect. But being good neighbors, we did what good neighbors do. We extended our hands in friendship. And when we did, we found that he was already reaching out to us. Dr. Sorensen, uh, from the first day he came to Columbia, uh, reached out to the city and to the greater community. Uh, he called, um, as I told uh, someone, uh, I met with Dr. Sorensen more times bef uh, between uh, when he was uh, uh, selected in April and sworn in in July than I'd ever met before with uh, uh, any uh, officials uh, as many times. He, he did a wonderful job, uh, reached out to the community and became part of the community. Reaching out is what Andrew does best. Shortly after he arrived, he began a series of bus tours of the entire state, meeting people, shaking hands. He and Donna, his better half by anyone's yardstick, visit regularly with civic and church leaders. Andrew sits with students at basketball games. He's always trying to reach out to someone, trying to find a way to make things a little better. Andrew likes people. He is one that uh, I think uh, never meets a stranger. And I think to be called an ambassador, well, that's a great term for Andrew because he certainly is an ambassador for the University of South Carolina. But in addition to that, he, and he's an ambassador for the Midlands area and for our state. Andrew has also reached out to the business community to build new partnerships and find ways to make Columbia a better place to live and work. The new hotel at the National Advocacy Center and the university's research campus initiative owe much of their success to Andrew's commitment and dedication. Dr. Sorensen is not afraid to have the buck stop with him. He's not, he, he's not reticent to make, it, make the decision. He is, he is there when you need him. He's ever present in this community, which is to me amazing how with all the priorities, obviously, that he has, first priorities in, as being the president of this university, uh, to serve on the number of boards and to actively participate uh, in community activities, I think has spoke volumes to this community and sent a message uh, that, that the University of South Carolina, and not just Dr. Sorensen, is part and parcel of this community and that together we're better. The hotel project also involved finding a balance between the needs of the hotel and the needs of the local community. Andrew worked with concerned citizens neighborhood associations, and city council to find a solution that worked for everyone. He did that, and in the process, helped to preserve and restore two historic neighborhood homes. The university is clearly a key player in what happens in a city, but it's not the only player. There are a lot of players, and I think Dr. Sorensen sees the university as one of the partners in this city, in the future of this city. And that makes um, a huge difference, the recognition that there are other people who have just as much to give and a willingness to make sure everybody's at the table. And that's one of the things, that's one of the many things I think he brings. There are precious few individuals that you meet along the way who truly are possessed of the right stuff, who do the right things for the right reasons. He's a leader. Uh, Sorensen uh, sets a clear vision 
uh, uh, Dr. Sorensen knows where he wants to take the university, and uh, he, he sets that out. Uh, he is a, a great one-on-one -on -one communicator. Uh, he makes you feel part of the team. He can deal with the king, and he can deal with the papa, and, and make them both feel pretty good. For these reasons and more, I am honored to be among those who nominated Andrew Sorensen for Ambassador of the Year. In his short time here, he has done an amazing job. He has helped to bring our community even closer together, and for that, we owe him a debt of thanks, even if he does still have a few odd habits. Thank you, Dr. Sorensen. Thank you, Andrew, and congratulations. Thanks, Dr. Sorensen, for a job well done. We appreciate all you do for the city. Thank you, Andy. Congratulations. Thanks, Andrew. We are all glad that you and Don are part of our community. Now, if you will excuse me, I'm late for a meeting.